Hey guys, Shaber1000 here again with another video. This time it's going to be on a flea market find, Japanese lighter. Stay tuned and we'll take a look at it together. Okay guys, what we have here today is a Japanese, it's not actually a cigarette lighter. It's Japan, it's made in Japan, but I did look this up and it is vintage. Um, I, they still are making them, but, <coughs> excuse me, it's actually a pipe and cigar lighter. Now, when I bought it, let's see, what I get for this thing? I can't remember now. What I get for this, nine bucks? Yeah. So it came, it was like nine fifty. So came like 10 something you know with tax but I tried to put flint in it and the flint wouldn't go in now you can see that it'll spark now but way down in there I know this camera will not focus on that but down in there where the flint comes out it was bent it was bent see the flint is here and it goes up and kind of turns back that way but it was bent, so what I did was I took this little screwdriver, or not screwdriver, this little nail, and I stuck up in there where the where the uh, flint spring goes, and I tapped on it a few times. And now, when I stuck it in, I could tell the flint was going to go in. So now we've got so let's go ahead and take this bottom screw out here. It's on the same basis as a Zippo, and okay, this is just like a little. I know you can't hardly see it, but maybe you can see if I put it down here. But anyway, we got our Zippo lighter fluid here. Let me get this open. Having a hell of a time trying to. Upload videos for you guys having nothing but technical issues again. So let's fill this up. You just fill it in here, fill it nice and slow. Just like you do a Zippo. Let it get saturated. I'm assuming this holds more because there's probably a lot more wadding in there than in a Zippo style lighter. Because like a pipe and cigar sometimes takes a lot longer to um too light so they don't want you running out as quick i don't know if that's the case or not or if it's just because it's cool but this here. here we go and we'll put this back on here Um, one of these similar, like I said, did I mention it? I looked it up online and it was sold. It sold for $100 even. So, let's see, let's put this in here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it's saturated enough yet. It may not be saturated enough yet. Yeah, the wick. Yeah, it looks like it's wet. So. Things for sure it does not light real easy. Let's check this out here. Let's pull the wick out a little bit further there. Whoops, maybe too much. Fluff the wick up a little bit. I'm not I'm not even sure if I'm writing this light or lighting this right. Okay guys, so what I did here was I opened this up and I took my Zippo lighter and I went ahead and I, I lit the, uh, the wick and it started burning real black immediately and had a pungent odor kind of like a, like a diesel or you know a kerosene like someone uh, put the wrong fuel in here. So I let it do that 
for a minute because I didn't want to burn a wick up. But, you know, I wouldn't even say a minute. You, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, about 20 seconds. I blew it out and did it again for about 20 more seconds. And then I let it cool off. And then I went ahead and um, opened it back up and I filled it up with some more Zippo. I kind of overfilled it a little bit on purpose. And then I let it dry by itself. And then I lit it and there we go. Just like that. And there we have it, guys. So, um, <clears throat> let's get you up here a little bit better. There you are. All right. So anyway, that's that's what I did. That's all I did to get that this lighter working here. And um, where you at? There you are. I'm holding it clear over here. The lens is over here. I keep looking in the screen. But there we go. There it is. Um, my little um, cigar pipe lighter. And it works just fine. So there's another one for you. Stay tuned for some more videos. i got a couple more coming up. Um, I may do one or two this weekend on um, the Dollar Tree, on a couple Dollar Tree items I bought. Let's just see see how good they are for a buck. You know, you never know. They might might be all right or they could be junk. But then again, that other thing, that other product from the other day was, uh, you know, scratch remover pff, junk. And it was, what, 10 or 15 bucks, 10 bucks or something like that. So anyway, guys, remember, uh, keep in mind that... Uh, I'll, I'll keep more video. I'll, I'll keep the videos coming as I can as I can do them. I was going to do a couple at work today, but I didn't bring the camera, and I took a, uh, a you know, I I did it with my phone and my phone. Bad memory card, man, it sucks. This one is doing it again too, to where I'll play it back. It plays back fine. I shut it off, put it in the computer, and nothing. It ain't there. But remember, guys, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.